Hi. Good day. Do you know that a lot of people around us nowadays are using cameras? They have cameras. But the question is, do they know what are the terminologies need to familiarize with in handling cameras? Well, we are going to discover this. And we need to know about this. So, kindly watch out this video. One of the terminology in camera handling that we need to show up is panning. In photography or in video, panning is referred to as the rotation in a horizontal plane, still or a video camera. This is to leave the subject in the same portion of the frame to emphasize or to de-emphasize the subject respectively. Like this video, you can pan right or pan left. Just move the camera from left to right or from right to left. The next one is zooming in and out. When you zoom in, in your subject, just press the zoom in button of your camera. Or the zoom in and out button of your video camera. For you to get your desired shot. By pressing the zoom in to the right, it will make your subject closer. While pressing the zoom in and out button moving to the left, the subject becomes farther. In contrast to the zoom in and out, there is also a term called dallying in and out also, but of the same effects. The only difference is that when you as a cameraman, when dallying in, you will move closer to your subject or move farther from it if you are going to dally out. And like zoom in and out, only zoom in and out button is going to press. This is now a wide shot or full shot in which typically shows the entire object or human figure and is usually intended to place it in same relation to its surroundings. All you have to do is to frame the subject as it is and never adjust the zoom in and out button. Look at this clip. The subject is like from a medium distance that is only from head to elbow or from diaphragm can be seen. This is called medium shot. Now, there are times that we need to get the display of the most detail of our subject. Like for example, in this shot, the head is being showed only. This is called close-up. How to do this? Just simply move closer to an object or use your zoom in and out button to get the specific shot of your subject. This is now how to establish the rule of thumb or the so-called Rule of thirds. In the viewfinder of your video camera, just imagine that you are dividing the screen into three parts or objects. Like this, the person standing, the garden, and the pathway. In between them, there is always an object involved, tree and a building respectively. Finally, in this video presentation, we have the so-called top view or bird's eye view shot. Be sure that you are looking towards your object. Just position your camera above the building or a tree or something that is higher than of your subject. So, how do you find? So now, you know already what are those necessary things, terminologies that we need to discover about camera handling. So, I have a little question. How do you call this shot? Or how do you consider or what do you what do you call this shot?